Good morning, everybody. I wanted to do a kind of a follow-up on the uh, on this right line truck bed tent, and uh, so I came out again this weekend and did another little camp out with my buddy Blue there, and uh, I, you know, I, I I have to say, I'll, I'll say this is more of a review than it is anything else, but I'll have to say I really like this a lot. I like the concept of getting off the ground. Like this morning, I woke up. And as I'm getting dressed, you know, or putting my boots on and stuff, I mean, I'm sitting on the tailgate, my feet hanging out of the truck bed. I'm, you know, enjoying this beautiful view, you know, of the forest out here. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm just, it, it was just, a, it was a good feeling to get when waking up, not crawling out of a tent. And I've got big tents, so not saying those types of things like you know six man tents are great because you can put your cots in there and chairs and all kinds of good stuff if you're by yourself so i do love the big tents but i'm talking like the little tents that uh you know little two-man tent type things i i just i'm done with those i can tell you that and i'm a big hammock camper and i love to hammock camp and uh but you know i'm getting up there in age and it's not that they're not comfortable because they're very comfortable. What I don't like about hammocks is I have zero privacy and I have nowhere to like stretch out if I need to. So as you can see, I've <laughs> I've incorporated a, an easy up 10 by 10 to even give me more space to mess around in. So I've gotten to the point in my life, I, I like to have kind of maybe the, the comforts of, of things, right? And I like to have lots of space to spread out. It's just me and, the, and, and my dog today, so. Uh, you know, maybe a bit of an overkill, but uh, I wanted to test these things out because um, I wanted to see if I could use this, you know, for future camps. So when I go out for a longer term, instead of just a, an overnighter type deal, um, that I can uh, that I can bring something like this out for, you know, a few days and to have a place for me and the family to hang out or my buddies to hang out under a canopy, you know, with a light. I hung a light down there and I put that on a... Uh, I think it was, uh, I think I tied a, uh, a taut line so I could adjust the light up and down if, as I needed it. And I just ran over here and tied it off. So, you know, but you know, overall really cool setup, really cool setup. The thing I will say the the, the majority of the stuff I like, um, a lot. The one thing I, I will say that I don't like about this is is the fiddle factor. And what I mean by that is trying to get it just right so it fits the truck bed appropriately. Uh, I had the first, the first time I had it set up, it was great. I, mean, I had zero problems. But for some reason this time, when I'm zipping up the, the bug net or the tent door, uh, this, this side here was super, super tight. And you could see how it's, it's pulled over farther that way than this way. And I tried to pull it and adjust it a little bit here and there. And, you know, after, you know, 30 minutes of trying to, well, not 30 minutes, but after about 10 minutes of trying to fiddle around with this thing, I kind of got it somewhat loosened up. And I, I know it's, I'm sure it's just, I've got maybe the straps too tight on one side than I do the other, whatever it is. But I just wish that there was, the design was a little bit, a little bit more flexible on the, on the fit of the uh, the of this the tent door, and I wish that they had a larger awning. So see how this sticks like tailgate sticks way out here. I think uh, Napier has like this goofy little porch thing. I'm not sure how sturdy that would be in a, a good storm, but it would be nice. I know Kodiak, but it's a it's expensive canvas tent. It, it sticks out over here over the tailgate tailgate to give you like kind of a, a cover. So if you're coming out in the rain, you're not going to just get your whole tent and your tailgate completely, you know, wet. So, you know, that's, that's the only, that's the only thing I could say that I, I'm not really too happy about with this, but I would say the cons outweigh the, I mean, the pros outweigh the cons quite a bit with this little setup. So if you're looking to get into something like this, uh, I would, I would, I would highly recommend um, doing this type of camping. I really like it. Um, 
do I recommend this tent itself, the right line tent? Um, yeah, I do. I think for the, the price that I paid for this, which was like, I think 180 is what I paid for this, um, to kind of get into the overland camping and to see if you like it. I think this is a good tent that'll last you for quite a few years. It's not a cheap, you know, I've seen some of the other ones that are really cheapy type of tents. Um, this one seems pretty, pretty rugged, you know, I mean, as tents go. Um, haven't had it in a big storm yet. I'd like to do that. Uh, I'd like to see how it handles in a, a good Texas spring thunderstorm. Um, just to see how things go with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking to get into the overlanding stuff and you don't want to go spend, you know, you know, $1,500, $2,000 for a, an overland tent, and then, and then that's just the tent. And then you have to put all the, the racks and all that stuff on it. But if you're into that, hey, you know, more power to you. I, I totally get it. But if you're like me and you just like to hit the, hit the trails um, on the weekends and, you know, go hook up with your buddies here and there and do some camping or with the family, this is a great, great alternative, you know. Um, and you can do something like this, set these little awnings up. Uh, I got this from Academy, so super cheap. I mean, it is cheap. And so if a, wind, a big wind came along and blew this really hard, it'd probably, you know, fold like a cheap chair. But I put some stakes in the, in the, in the pe I put some of those big long nail stakes in the legs to hope it, hold it down. We're supposed to have some rain, but um, I'm not sure if it's going to come or not. So anyhow, there you go. There is the, the right line truck bed tent review. And I would say thumbs up to this if you're looking to, you're looking to get into overlanding um, without spending a ton of cash. I think this is a great, a great uh, a tent to grab and to throw in the back of your truck and check it out. All right. Hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye.